why after such a dramatic event that happened to Jews, okay, with the intentions of wanting to eliminate every single Jew on the face of the planet, right? right. This is what Hitler's vision was, right? Why is it years later, after a crisis like that, what values and principles helped Jews pretty much own Hollywood, do well in business, do well in life? Oh, I'll tell you. I have the answer Go for, for it. Yeah. They didn't see themselves as victims. It is the most paralyzing thing in black life, what the left is doing to blacks. The left hates you, blacks. Just the, No, they don't hate you. They have contempt for you. Telling you you're a victim is paralyzing. Jews did not walk around thinking they're victims even after the Holocaust. Why not? Because they knew it is completely self-destructive. How did they know? I don't know. It's a great... Well, maybe because of the Jewish tradition has always been, we take responsibility for our own suffering. Okay. Yeah, man. Yeah, we're going to get into this one. This is actually great. I'm so happy that Patrick Ben David did this. Because this is what we need. We need this conversation. See... When, when you assign certain types of ideologies to people, they deny the shit. Because they like to say a person that points out racism is a race hustler. You don't think this is race hustling when Patrick Bet David sets off a softball? It was such a softball for racist ass Dennis Prager to hit. The Dennis Prager is almost like, I can't believe he just tossed that to me. I'm going to knock the stuffing out of this ball, Johnson. Because it's such an obvious, obvious play. Patrick Ben David already knows the ideology of Dennis Prager. He already understands how to get a viral moment out of Dennis Prager. He already knows what Dennis Prager is going to say. Understand what I'm saying. When he did this, guys, it's a setup. He already, it's like, we're going to get a soundbite. It's going to trigger black people. And white people are going to agree. This is how you go viral. It's a formula. It works all the time. Why after such a dramatic event that happened to Jews? Okay. First of all, since Patrick Bet David is comparing Jews and black, obviously. What happened to black people was that an event? What happened to black people lasted for centuries, dickhead, and it's still happening. So that's the main difference. Pat's supposed to be a smart guy. That's why I say he's a grifting piece of shit because he should be smart enough to know what happened to Jews lasted for about four years. What happened to black people has been happening for over three centuries. What? I don't know how many years of slavery, 1615 to 1865, right? Uh, then another 100 years of Jim Crow. Yeah, that's more than an event. That's lifetimes. That's multiple generations, Pat David. What happened to Jews happened for about four years. And then guess what happened? They were saved. Then guess what would happen? They were given billions of dollars. Some people would say it was almost like reparations. Something you don't support for us. But like you, in your own setup, Jews had an event. Black people had an existence and still have an existence. With the intentions of wanting to eliminate every single Jew on the face of the planet, right? right. This is what Hitler's vision was, right? Why is it years later, after a crisis like that, what values and principles helped Jews pretty much own Hollywood, do well in business, do well in life. Oh, I'll tell you. I have the answer Go for, for it. Yeah. They didn't see themselves. I got the answer for you. They got money, dumbass. They got money. And they had towns built for them like Levittown. Yeah. Black people had towns built for them too. It was called slums, projects, with no money. And still were denied employment. They were denied things like the, uh, the uh, GI Bill. Denied out things like the Homestead Act. Denied things like, I don't know, um, grants, <laughs> loans at a reasonable rate. Uh, they had problems like being able to live wherever they wanted to live, being able to have a job wherever they wanted to have a job. 
it's called segregation. It's called discrimination. It's called Jim Crow for a hundred years. Jews didn't go through that in America. In fact, if you're Jewish and change your name and take off the fucking hat, no one even knows you're Jewish. Like Prager, this guy's Jewish. You don't know about looking at him. Just see a fat old white guy. No matter what last name I have, no matter if I lose weight or not, I'm black. Dr. King talked about this very explicitly in one of his speeches. What is it about the Negro? I mean, every other group that came as an immigrant somehow, not easily, but somehow got around it. Is it just the fact that Negroes are black? White America must see that no other ethnic group has been a slave on American soil. That is one thing that other immigrant groups haven't had to face. The other thing is that the color became a stigma. American society made the Negroes color a stigma. America freed the slaves in 1863 through the Emancipation Proclamation of Abraham Lincoln, but gave the slaves no land or nothing in reality, and as a matter of fact, to get started on. At the same time, America was giving away millions of acres of land in the West and the Midwest, which meant that there was a willingness to give the white peasants from Europe an economic base. And yet it refused to give its black peasants from Africa who came here involuntarily in chain and had worked free for 244 years any kind of economic base. And so emancipation for the Negro was really freedom to hunger. It was freedom to the winds and rains of heaven. It was freedom without food to eat or land to cultivate. And therefore it was freedom and famine at the same time. And when white Americans tell the Negro to lift himself by his own bootstraps, they don't look over the legacy of slavery and segregation. I believe we ought to do all we can and seek to lift ourselves by our own bootstraps. But uh, it's a cruel jest to say to a bootless man that he ought to lift himself by his own bootstraps. And many Negroes, by the thousands and millions, have been left bootless as a result of all of these years of oppression and as a result of a society that deliberately made his color a stigma and something worthless and degrading. MLK answered this in the 60s. It's on YouTube, Pat. You goofball, you doof. You sell out. You pandering to white supremacy, moron. You snake oil salesman, slimy, bent back bastard. You paid off scumbag slumlord, white supremacist coddling, fondling, receptacle. That's what you are. You're a receptacle for white supremacist loads. Martin Luther King said, what's different about the black experience, what's different about what's happened to black people in America is we wear our difference in the form of skin color. That's the difference. That's it. Unlike that's Hispanic folks, unlike Jewish folks, black people wear the tool of their discrimination. The, 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 the way in which we are identified to be alerted to all the white supremacists, hey, watch this one. Hey, deny this one. Hey, every stereotype that they have in their heads is activated when they see my hand. In fact, if you sell a Rolex and I sell a Rolex, same condition, and you're holding it white man and I'm holding it black Tim, mine will sell for less. My final, my bids will be lower just because my black hand is holding a Rolex. There are studies about this out the ass, and Patrick Bet David knows it. But see, Patrick Bet David is a scumbag. He's morally bankrupt, just like Vivek Ramaswamy. He's another one of these people who is either immigrants and talks about how bad it was in that country, comes here, and as long as he's not black, he's given opportunities. This got to be not black, dumbass. Last time I checked, whatever you are, Pakistani or whatever, they were never enslaved in America. So whatever's going on in Pakistan doesn't have anything to do with what goes on here in America. Yeah, of course, there are going to be white people that don't want your 
Pakistani ass or whatever you are, because I really don't know, nor do I give a shit. But this idea, this idea that fragrance floating here, guys, is so full of shit. We just see ourselves as victim. Anything to deny that American government policies victimize us. Anything else. And even as in these people that keep saying, why don't all the blacks side with the Jewish community? Why don't we work together? And we got that loud mouth asshole from the ADL popping his head up all the time. Popping his punk ass head up, complaining about how black people so-called don't stand up enough for Jewish people. When half the Jewish people are taken off their hats long ago, dropped the berg on their names, and are just living their lives, getting their money. We are here fighting this shit on our own, and everyone knows it. We all know we're fighting this shit on our own. Of course, there are good people here and there. There are good pockets of good people. And there are even some people that are delusional enough to think when they go out to a march and they see some other people, that that means it's a whole lot of people. But folks, in the grand scheme of things, we are on our fucking own. Because there are people like Dennis Prager, who are part of a group that was done a, a hefty blow. But I don't try to minimize what happened to Jewish folks. I don't try to minimize it. But they minimize our struggle and tell us it's all in our heads. Look at Shaq. Shaq is a fucking medical humanity um, phenomenon, dumbass. People should not have to be medical humanical, humanity uh, birth phenomenons in order to be successful. You should not have to be 7 foot 10, size 62 to be successful just because you're black. You should be able to be short and stocky, scrawny, pot-bellied, fucking old piece of garbage with a shit network like Prager here and still be super successful. You shouldn't have to have a jump shot like Kobe, ball handling skills like Allen Iverson to have money just because you black. You should be just as, just as mediocre as Ben Shapiro. Just as unfunny as Bill Maher. And still get that paper. You should not have to be as talented as a Cat Williams or Dave Chappelle. You understand? Or Richard Pryor. In order to get paper. So yeah, it's funny. They like to point at our celebrities. And use them against us instead of anything other than admitting the system has fucked us. Anything other than the truth. Anything other than the truth. And then I got a whole bunch of people in media who won't want to say the truth either. And they do a Pat Bet David, a Patrick Bet David from infotainment. They lie and they downplay and they condescend and they ignore and they try to rewrite history. And then they act oblivious. What's really different about Jewish people and black people? I don't know. They want raped out of fucking existence to the almost the point where you can't find a single black person in America who didn't have white ancestry? Huh? Maybe that would be it. Maybe because we don't, we, we had our language stripped, our religion stripped, all our wealth stripped repeatedly and repeatedly and repeatedly for but there are people that are going to Patrick Bet David show like he didn't say this shit like this never happened. Won't challenge him. Won't bring it up. Watch. He'll bring people on. They won't bring it up because at the end of the day in this media game, it is about the bag. And look, and look, and, and here's the other thing. And I'm going to add this. And at the end of the day, I don't even know if this is really what Patrick Bet David truly believes. Because in the media game, this is what you have to do to be successful. This is how you really get the money. You cook up controversy, you manufacture controversial, controversial comments, and then you watch the virality. And as long as you're able to take the incoming sticks and stones, and it's always us, we're the safest group to go after. 
particularly in this climate. Yeah. Black people get vocal and loud. I mean, if he was talking about Polish, you think they would get that loud? He was talking about Asian folks. Would they really get that loud? No. Black people are going to push back, cause a frenzy. We're going to react emotionally from this shit, and we're going to help him make another couple hundred thousand dollars. In fact, he's counting on it. And that's why he did it. Because even Patrick Bet David, a scumbag that he is, an opportunist that he is, a greedy capitalist fuck up. Right? Right? All the things that he is. Right? Amway distributing asshole or some derivative of it. Some very similar product of it. He knows how to make money. And he has no qualms about throwing black people under the bus. But he won't throw the gays under the bus. There might be some backlash from that. I don't even know if I can sit through the rest of this, but I said I'd play the majority of it or to play it back one more time. Here goes the ending of that piece. This is victims. It is the most paralyzing thing in black life, what the left is doing to blacks. The left. He's right. What the, what the left does is bad. I don't know if you call it left, though. Stop calling it left. Democrats and Republicans. That's what both sides do, okay? And what the Democrats and Republicans do is not good for black people. But it's not like Republicans are much better. They both suck. And I'm tired of people saying, oh, the Democrats are so much better. They're not so much better. He's right about that. He's right. They're condescending as hell. And if you start cutting outside the lines, if you start being vocal and saying, where's that paper? How are you going to help us economically? What are you going to do to right the, right the wrongs? Then you become persona non grata. So you can sit in my comment section, dumb dumb, and keep on, and keep on saying stupid shit like, yeah, but the, but the Republicans are so much worse. At the end of the day, if it ain't putting money in the pockets of black people, if it's not enabling black people to make more money, Gives a fuck.